Hey, hey, it's been um, a very long time. It's September 26th. I think I'm gonna have to like, um, make my own rules, you know? Just everything needs to be on my own rules. Right now I have to work with what I like do my best with my current best. And I think I've been holding myself back a lot. Um, because I want everything in such an orderly fashion and Virgo moon, uh, orderly fashion. I want everything to be perfect and precise and everything. So I feel like if I don't have it all together or all the way it's supposed to be that it's completely like rubbish essentially. And that, that's like, um, self-sabotage honestly, because we're never going to have everything a hundred percent. So what I think I'm going to have to do, I can't do the whole weekly daily vlog thing. I think any, if anything, I'm just going to, I probably have just these little car powwows because I feel like that's when I really have time to think or to, you know, get my thoughts together. So I might just do that and see where it takes us. Um, and just, we just going to do that like that until I figure everything out or everything gets figured out. Everything starts to settle how it's supposed to. I'll be able to have more you know more of a be able to create more of a routine once my life gets in a more orderly fashion but as the transitions are happening and the pieces are falling into place i just got to work with what i got because i don't want to just do nothing when i can still give something you feel me so i think today my, my week this week has really kind of catapulted me into this into this mind space or head space of um, me really and truly getting a better grip and better understanding of my emotions. Because when I think about it, my emotions have actually been the deterrent in most situations. Like emotional eating, my weight. Um, I also keep in mind I have PCOS, so my hormones... I'm my my body is fighting against itself, so I have to keep in mind that one I gotta work with my deficiencies, or I have to work with whatever I have, whatever is currently me. I gotta work with that and make it work. I can't just be like, oh, I can't, I can't. No, I gotta find ways to do. So I have to really be cognizant of you know what's going on, and I feel like as the weeks are progressing, um, I'm it's like you know I'm in situations or in. Um, you know moments where it's like okay this is an emotional driven type of um occurrence right now we have to make sure we choose the right um method or the right ways to respond and not react that's my thing response or react right now because i'm jamaican from the bronx first generation um a Jamaican on American soil type joint, oldest child, held the fort down, you know, helped my mom with three kids. So I have this, well, I'm one of the three kids, but I have this, this persona that I don't, you know, that I don't want the whole angry black woman persona. That's not very becoming at all. Like that's not, I don't see that in my cards for me. So I'm trying to really redirect it. Everything I know or the things I know that, you know, cause that i'm trying to address it so it's like becoming soft enough but also finding the balance of still having and maintaining that femininity and that softness that a nurturing but also you see that i'm well poised and you see you can see my power i don't have to prove my power to you i don't have to be mean to you i don't have to be callous i don't have to be cold i don't have to be snarky i don't have to be rude or any of that but I, you can still tell my power, but I'm also very serene and very, you can tell that I'm just here. That is my highest self. So that's what I'm working towards. So like my natural disposition at the moment, and I don't say natural, my acquired disposition when things aren't going the right way, it, my, my eyebrows are all like this. It's really sadness. Like I'm really sad as shit. So, but it, it's going to come off as an attitude or rude or um, mean or angry or whatever, but it's really... And I don't know that it's even happening, but I know I'm really, I just don't know how to express it, I guess, properly or whatever it is, but it's always 
you know, taken as like anger type of thing. And I'm not angry. I'm just, just sad or something. Just figuring out, you know. So I'm trying to get control of my facial emo my facial expressions in regards to that too. But like I'm really realizing and really noticing that in every facet, my reactions to things is really my emotions that I be letting run away with things. And when I start thinking, pondering, ruminating, doing whatever the hell that happens, then now, now we done slipped into the D word. And so my emotions is my focus right now like how to be able to sit in it with it how to be able to sit with it and also explore it and study it and figure out why am i feeling this right now why is this the reaction that i am you know um that i am going through right now why am i not responding so i'm also learning to take a moment before I speak right now it's kind of hard for me because I'm not I don't know, my throat chakra meant be like this okay so I keep a lot of things in and it's hard for me to let some things out sometimes that I overthink it so I'm like you yeah, don't say that or under thing and it's just like I just don't want to so I just don't when there's so much more details and information that can be added to whatever it is but my brain just goes boom like don't say nothing girl like because <laughs> either way you about to lose that's how my mind tells you so uh yeah i don't know it's just like just trying to to make sure that i'm responding and not reacting because there's so many instances in so many situations like i've reread a message or i went back and i'm like oh snap like i responded from my from my emotion i did not i wasn't even logical and i feel crazy afterward so i'm just trying to find you know the balance like and I don't, I'm over here like I'm trying to find, like I'm not trying to figure YouTube out. I'm not, I'm just going to use YouTube to figure myself out. That's literally what this is about to be. And I hope that it blossoms into some beautiful stuff. And I hope that I am able to encourage other people. And I want to show like real time, like not, oh, I went through this, like concurrent. Like this is really actually happening right now, the very moment. And it's my truth and this is my character building and this is my lesson um that's like it's a very tough or maybe a very kind of yeah a tough spot or situation to be in right now but i literally feel my mentality changing as the days progress so like even though everything is upside down i'm still unemployed still been laid off but i am starting to get some um recruiters are reaching out to me now so that's beautiful I feel like I'm starting to have a better idea. I'm grasping, I'm getting a better idea of myself. I'm also accepting myself a little bit better as well. I've realized that I'm actually a really good creative director. Like my eyes, I have a really good eye for a lot of good artistic things. And I've always known that. But again, the whole self-sabotage thing of like, yeah, people don't care what I, what I wanna, like they don't care about my opinion. They don't care that I think this is fire. So I just be like, just keep it to myself. But now I'm speaking up and I'm more vocal. I'm like, yeah, I think you should try this. How about this? This is what I hear. And I'm very spiritual, so I just feel like I just be going off of my heart now. And I'm just really trying, literally, truly, and really trying to go off of what I want to do. Like, if I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. That's it. Like, I'm not. I'm no longer trying to convince myself to appease, to, to help others, to please, and not please myself first. Like everybody else everything else comes secondary even like as long as i make sure i'm good my kid is good you don't got no worries from there so i hate when people want to race i'm low-key undefeated in mario kart at least i play them. so yeah i just feel like i'm just gonna it's gonna be like a little, little car chronicles type thing and we'll just approach it like this um <laughs> because i'm tired i don't want to keep stressing myself out like my mind i need rest i'm tired of like i don't want to bicker i don't want to have any you no know, back and forth with anybody i don't want to have back and forth with myself i don't want to be conflicted with myself i want to be able to hear myself so clearly and understand my needs so clearly that there's no, i am no longer my biggest enemy because right now that's what it is you're just going back and forth with heart and mind be over here like well this is and then mind be like well and it's like bro let's get on the same page so like I'm really just trying to wholly take care of me, like complete rehabilitation. And I don't know if I can say rehabilitation because this is a complete different person. I don't know who I am. Okay, I do not know. And I feel it's, it's beautiful because I'm trying to have to figure it out because I know 
me giving to everyone for so long of course I don't know myself so like actually like it's also beautiful that I have like nostalgic moments where I'm doing something and I remember I used to love drawing blah 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 or I used to look and these these nostalgic memories from my inner child are coming out and it's like yeah I remember that time I was so happy type shit so it's like I'm getting I'm tapping back in I'm tapping back in and I feel like everything that I'm experiencing at the very moment very very moment I need all of it because me myself I'm a hard-headed person I don't know how to word that so I could be a past tense thing. Maybe somebody can help me out. But I am very stubborn. I am, I don't say stuck in my ways, but I'm convinced, I'm convinced. I'm a very headstrong person. Like peer pressure, <laughs> you're never gonna get me. So it's like, I am trying to stop fighting myself too because I'm stubborn with myself. It's how you do one thing is how you do everything. So I'm over here like, um, you know, trying to make sure that i am not you know putting digging myself in a hole type shit because i'm just over here just stubborn with everything and anything and not learning anything from anything and it's like it's such a uh constructed a constricting mindset to have to be stubborn and not to listen to your not even to listen to yourself too that's crazy gotta get it under control so that's what i'm trying to like not be as stubborn and stuck in my ways but it's also just unlearning that because i'd be so sure like you can't tell me shit all right i'm not easily swayed like i am such a like a really headstrong ass person so but i don't want to be that way where i'm not i'm not accepting anyone's anything because that's usually how it's like yeah it's my way really like i'm smarter than you and that's not it because community hello so i am like mm, i'm just trying to figure it out you know just you just gotta try to figure it out that's all i can do is at the very moment so i'm just doing my best with what my current best is um, and I think that's what this is just about to consist of right now. We can, I can create whatever fake guidelines or parameters soon, but right now, as I figure it out, I want to help completely figure it out. So, this is what you're finna do. And that's what's gonna happen. So, yeah, I guess we're just gonna continue this healing journey, this mommy PCOS healing journey. We're going to see where it takes us, how far it takes, not where it takes us, how far it takes us. Because, yeah, you know, life is so hard without people. And the enemy wants you to isolate yourself so much that you don't have anyone. And we're not about to do that. We're not isolating no more, baby. We have to, we got to band together. We got to come together. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. It ain't even about to be too much effort into this shit neither. Like the car chronicles, I'm just gonna post some joints. Because why not? You feel me? So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next the next dump. Ciao Bella. <laughs>